Hey, what's up? Super Typhoon Trackers here, and it's been a while since uh, I've done this uh, reaction video on Force 13. Um, it is 2023 Pacific Typhoon season that became the most inactive El Nino season ever, if I remember. Um, it is the third most inactive season in history in the Pacific Typhoon season, yet it is quiet. Um, destructive because of Typhoon Doksuri and Typhoon Mawar that Typhoon Doksuri causes a 28.4 billion dollars in damage and, um, and Mawar is up to 4.3 billion dollars in damage as well and yeah it's a quite a while to see me again in here doing a reaction so I hope you enjoy and I will make videos sooner, um, other videos like satellite imagery. So I think we just get started here and now. It's so, only 40 more seconds let's see. until the new year begins. And after another annual cycle in the northern hemisphere of cyclones, 2023 is about Atlantic, to begin. In the eastern Pacific, and the year yeah. comes to an end. Let's see. As many people now come together to celebrate a new year yes. and a new digit being added to their number. And so everyone counted. Here is the countdown. We are about to begin. 2023. The animation of 2023 from Force 13 is, it, it looks quite nice, to be honest. But wait, we're forgetting something. Not our, we forgetting, yeah, the Western Pacific is about to get below average again, once again. Along with its previous two years, yes. it have a low average activity, Yes. yet the destruction still remains. And it will be for this. Many countries were still affected that yeah, year. For, for the year of 2023. Few, the Philippines, Vietnam, yes. China, Japan, and South Korea. That is the country those, that the, the most Philippines tropical received storms. devastating hits by Typhoon Nori. Uh, making an effect. And Ben, I got an ad. What a quiet nice to begin with. I got an ad. Oh my god. And South Korea was hit by a weakening. But yet impactful Hinamnor. Yeah, Hinamnor. I remember but then again, the storm. We ask each other once more is... Will the 2023 season yeah. be just as inactive as the last few years? Yes. Will we have another season with dangerous and destructive storms? Of course. Find it out it. now. Yeah. Here we go. So let's see. I like the Philippines that being placed on that. It, it looks quite nice. So we're on April and. Yeah, I remember Ama. It has come to be, uh, you know, to have gales, but it, it is a tropical depression official from JTWC and JMA. Okay. April is rolling in. 1W and Sanbo. Yeah, this is the starting of, you know, forming a tropical storm more than east than usual because. We're, ano, we're entering or shifting into an El Nino, but it doesn't behave like what? Alright, so far, so quite decent. Let's see what is coming, na coming next. Yeah, I'm, I am about to stumble my words. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Okay, Mawar is here. Yeah, I remember this storm. This storm is, you know, quite a while for a May storm, which is not yeah, an atypical unheard of. Still a trend. They heavily yeah. underestimate how quickly these storms can rapidly intensify. It's quite and taken advantage that of that, you know, warm like season, a, especially surf, in the western surface Pacific, temperature. These storms can have the potential to be extremely yes. powerful, and we're witnessing a storm that is about to yes. realize this potential. Uh, turn out, I talk, I know, the sound. Mawar is so the strongest storm of the month of May, officially, I think. 
power generated I think 56.95 base which is quite high in the month of May and actually yeah just amazed you know when mower is formed when it's doing the rapid intensification phase I just I'm shocked and I you know I have no words and Gutiol is forming so chilling in Filipino name uh, category 2 in the open open ocean sea heading into Japan but not quiet yeah and it turned 2x before yeah so let's see June is July July is coming up another LP forming near the Philippine Sea oh I made some damage 90.9k and fatalities I see 4W dodo oh it became talim yeah I remember this storm as well it is a typhoon you know GMA is I joke on this because they are thinking of severe tropical severe tropical storm with an eye like for you Okay, Doxuri is coming up. This is the most, you know, the most distracted storm of 2023. So, Doxuri, a super typhoon mm -hmm. as we look at it on this yeah. live satellite imagery like the, of the storm moving northwestwards Sa Samari, closer you know, and closer to the Philippine Islands. I'm just looking at the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency's forecast cone. They're actually forecasting a pressure of 925 yeah, millibars of the storm just off the northern coast of Luzon when it makes landfall and mainland China will only be a severe tropical storm, not even a typhoon. Wow. Well, the gas are running with that as well, interestingly. Just look at the JTWC forecast, they're expecting... 90 mile an hour. Doc Surrey has continued to track yeah. continually westward. Of course, there is still it a is lot of wiggle room for the storm. It still could go off China on the northern side and make Taiwan. a landfall in central Taiwan or even southern Taiwan. And yeah. it likely has a cost to do so on the southern end and go into Luzon. And of course, if the this storm does make you know, a Philippine landfall, form, then this uh, day three, day four, and day five point three considerable uh, southwestward shift. I mean, that Hong Kong could be at threat. Direct to China or Signal south of Taiwan. Signal warnings there. Babian Islands, northern and eastern portions of mainland Cagayan, yeah. northeastern yeah, this portion is the of Isabella, and the northern the portion Pagasa. of Capriel. Look, sorry, I'm uh, about to go rampage, and yeah. Hmm. It's big a lot of in there as a category 4, and strengthening to category 3 in hitting China, which is it caused so much flooding and Canon, has, Canon and Falcon in Filipino name is, is form become a category 4 another category 4 and yeah I remember Canon had a large shot which is I think it it almost rival Typhoon I, re I forgot about that name uh, Typhoon yeah that had large shot also in 1997 uh, uh, winning, yeah. Land is also formed in the open ocean of the Western Pacific and becomes a category 4. And Dora is about to cross the borderline of the Western Pacific and uh, it's weakening. It enters uh, as a category 2 and weakening as a tropical storm. Yeah. Land become X Dora is somewhat become a tropical depression. I like how they put an ice in there that you can see the ice of the Western Pacific has been generated. 8W is form. Oh, Saola, I remember this storm, the looping trap. And it's this is the J J J JTWC is clowning about. You know, gold standard. It's well, it's like, something that wasn't necessarily yeah. outside of the realms of this possibility, but Super Typhoon Saula, has, yeah. or locally referred to as Scoring, Don't has become a Category 5 is... typhoon, and it wow. is to pass the Bawian and Matanis Islands, Beautiful crossing the Luzon Strait and into and the South China Sea in the latter part of its life. 
And as the storm continues westwards, anything from the coast of China, short of Hong yeah. Kong or Hainan Island can I get think impacted Seoul pretty well. The signal number 10. There are warnings across the Philippines. Yeah, signal, signal 5 warnings days. in the northeastern part of the Bawian Islands. Signal 4 for southern Batanes, yeah. north and southeastern Bawian Islands. Signal 3 quite, warnings for the you know, rest of Seoul Batanes, rest of Bawian Islands and Santa Ana. Northern and signal 2 warnings for northern and eastern mainland Cagayan, northern Ilocos Norte and northern Apayao. Yeah. Sa Ola, pika may category 5, traversing the bus straight, high go is form, Hana in Philippines, and Kirog is form, outside of the Pacific. High go has strengthened into a typhoon, and it's threatening Taiwan, possibly expected to make landfall as a category 3 typhoon. High go become the first storm to hit the Taiwan, in just, you know, matter of 2 to 3 past years. Yun Yang is form, and it's quite making an effect in but it's not quite likely because it is already dissipated. September is here and another low pressure area in the South China Sea. That makes a landfall. I think that's tropical storm from their analysis. All right. Yeah, so here is Koinu approaching the southern tip of uh, Taiwan. That was a category Taiwan. 4 typhoon with a position of 21.8 degrees north and, and 121.0 degrees yeah. east. The cone shows it just Another passing major through landfall southern landfall. Taiwan then heading on to China just and then curves south, you know? completely avoiding any landfalls inside of China. I remember when Bulabin formed, uh, I think the most strongest uh, the strongest storm of the Pacific type of season in year 2023. Yes. The West Pacific scores another category, category five. 5 in the form of the lava. I remember this storm tracking and it is quite uh, beautiful and way the power of the you know, typical El Nino in the Western Pacific. Alright, so 78 days and we're heading into October. 16 W storm, Sun Pacific name and you know entering the Gulf of Tonkin and making landfall in China. Okay, alright. And this, you know, and this November and December comes just pasty, become pasty. Um, really nothing for me, mostly. 17 W, I remember this, you know, it is to be expect, expected to become a major powerful typhoon that hitting the besides region as a category for the instance based on the GPS and the other it, it became a pass which is quite good in the you know, Philippines and another NPA in December for me low latitude in the western Pacific Kabayan has been named for Filipino local Kilawat and yeah, making a landfall over Mindanao and dissipating yeah then doesn't much take much you know? it is dead and yeah, here is the summary of the 2023 Pacific Typhoon season and that's Despite the ongoing and new pattern, 2023 season was the fourth consecutive season to a below average activity with only 18 tropical storms according to F13 analysis. It was also the third most inactive season on record in terms of name storms. Yes, this is true. Our Becky became the first super typhoon of the season and one of the strongest storms in the northern hemisphere to form in May. It was also the second costliest storm of the season, causing roughly a 4.3 billion in damages total. Yeah. This storm is you know, powerhouse also in the month of May. Sorry, Iggy was the deadliest and costliest storm of the season, the costliest storm on record to impact China, and the third costliest typhoon on record causing roughly 15.5 billion damages which is up 
it, it is up to 28.4 billion by now and responsible for 139 casualties. Yeah. 2023 is proven to be deadly despite of inactivity. So and here comes another super typhoon Bolabinos, the strongest storm of the season, reaching 190 miles per hour according to F13 analysis. Uh, ma I, I think I have Bolabin as 195 but since fairly close to the entire number. Yeah, the analysis, power uh, 185 miles per hour, 897 millibars, Doxuri got in 155 and 924, Canon inland both 130 and 90, 935 and 936 millibars. Pandora, now 100 mi 105 miles per hour, so that you know it traverses and cross the international date line. Saola got 175, 906, Haiko is 125 miles per hour, Koino is 140, but for Saola, Bulabin got in the most strongest storm of the season, it is, it is to be expected, 190 and 894, and the rest is, you know, become bus. Ultimatum bus in Indonesia. Strongest land for is of course the Sony. And by the way, the fastest storm is Mawa, uh, not, not Mawar. Doksuri is the first. Mawar, yeah, as I have said, they are up, uh, they are up in costliest. So, yeah. 2023 20, Pacific Typhoon season become the costliest. The, not the costliest, the second costliest just behind 2019 season it is you know just wow it, despite of the inactivity you gotten um it here it is so uh, never underestimate the season okay capital is so 18 tropical storms, category 13, category 1, 11 typhoons, and 8 category 3 mate, you know, typhoons. Okay, here is the, you know, according to first 13, records and notable events for conse consecutive below average season in name storm, for costliest typhoon season on record. It is, it is to be the second now, one of the strongest storm typhoon seasons. In May, Mawar. All right, all right. There's uh, another another some another thing if you like to. All right, that's that's I think it. Here here is the statistic of 2023 Pacific Typhoon season. All right, if you enjoyed 2023 Pacific Typhoon season, um, hope you guys uh you know check it out if you want to and um if you want some more like this video and you know just comment what you need to what you are requesting me to react so thanks again uh super typhoon tracker is here and see you on the next one peace